lead us in this conscious lesson. This impunity cannot go on. It is not possible that armed bandits are settled in our farmlands and forests and they are organized in a very military way and the security operatives don't know where they are nobody disrupts disturbs them yet unarmed Igbo boys hold a meeting in MNA Nugu and SSS or whatever it is called suddenly discovers where they are and lives are lost this is not acceptable this is the type of thing that will turn a country to a, a, a land littered with just ruins. It is not possible that here in Onsoka we hear the Muslim call to prayer from our windows in our bedrooms as early as 4 a.m. And a Christian who in Abuja takes her Bible to call people to accept Jesus Christ is murdered by an Islamic fundamentalist and nothing happens. It cannot continue. And these are the things we have to say no to. It is not just about SARS. It is about injustice. It is about violence. It is not possible that Muslims in this country can acquire land and build mosques anywhere. Many mosques are rising in Ansoka now. And Christians can no longer obtain land to build churches, even in the so-called Christian-dominated states, let alone the London states. You may have heard that the governors of northern Nigeria said that they need SARS because maybe there they do the fun they perform the function for which they were established. Correct. But then, what does that tell you? That this country can no longer be ruled or governed as if we were all the same in everything. There must be different levels of governance and autonomy because if SARS is so oppressive in the South and so helpful in the North, then there must be different standards in the North and in the South. Some call it a restructure, some call it anything, I'm not interested in the name, but there must be some form of decentralization of governance in this country if you want to move forward. There is too much power and money at the center. That is why governance is no longer service. 